Hello, good day friend. Today we'll talk on C sharp parallel loop state object. If we see parallel dot for loop, we'll see this is the start index, this is the end index. Start index is inclusive, end index is exclusive, and this is the action method. So in the action method, this is the index, current index, and this is the parallel loop state object. The parallel class that is parallel dot for the parallel class instantiate this object and gives it to iterations. This object is used to interact between iterations in a loop. Say I am running a loop, say this is 0, this is 5, that means 0 to fourth index it will run, and I want to have. Mm, make interaction between these iterations this parallel loop state object will help us to achieve that now how we can do that the parallel dot loop state object has some methods and properties there are two methods there are many methods it has but two main methods like one is break the other one so other one is stop now break once you call break uh, the till that iteration the all the iteration lower than that would run if the, those has not ran already say I'm running from 0 to 4 and break has been called at third iteration if 0 1 2 has not ran then the loop will wait for those iterations to run and then it will exit the stop or whatever it stops at the loop at a convenient point it does not run till current iteration index like if the previous iterations the lower iteration has not ran it will not wait now these are the methods we can call in an iteration now the other iteration can get that information via properties like this exceptional this is like when some other iteration throws on handled exception the all the iterations will get to know about it is stopped if say third iteration called stop method the other method as other iterations like maybe 4, 5, you know, 0, 1, if who has not run and trying to run, they can um, get that information by this, by this stop property. This is the lowest break iteration. Say we have called break method. Uh, this property value we will only get in case you are calling uh, break method of parallel loop state object. Now, this will give you the index at which the break method has been called and then should exit current iteration this would uh, give you uh, if if a stop or loss uh, if a stop uh, is break and stop is all or expansion through this property would return the value uh, so let us see all this in action Okay, so I'm here in my data parallelism folder which I used in my last class. So let me open this one in command from this Let me open the project in Visual Studio Code. So perfect, I'm here in the project now. Hide this. Let me start with the what is this? Stop this and dot four and let it be 0 to make 10 uh, ok let me uh, then let me take an uh, lambda and in lambda I will pass the index and then the parallel loop state object uh, you see parallel loop state so yeah and then uh, what I do let me have some delay so that it would simulate the um, lambda method is doing some CPU intensive or some kind of processes so we'll introduce the delay let me add some millisecond 
maybe 100 millisecond for the time being. Okay, so now we will um, we'll check that if it is if any other iteration has called break or uh, stop. So and based on that, we'll carry on. If it has already called, you will uh, note it down here. So what we need, we need a current index. Uh, current at where we are. At I will tell at where it has happened. Don't. This is lowest break iteration. That will tell if at all some other iteration has uh, called uh, break or not. This value you will get only for break uh, and being called by other iterations. If the other iterations called stop or throws an handle exception, you will not get get value here. Now, if it calls, I want we want it to return. Now, uh, this is if in normal case I also want to log the index and then so some condition. Uh, say to simulate it say if it is i equal to 3 um, I wanted to call state dot break let's start with break ok now uh, that's it so let me start this save this so here so let me ok I guess uh, 10 index is too fast so let me increase the delay here. So if I run it now, okay. So it seems uh, it's running fast. So if I increase, decrease to zero, let's see what happens. Okay, we run it now. Okay, now you see. So uh, it what happened? This five, five threads started and together and then at zero index uh, break has been called and then when the index one three seven five nine they entered into a loop and they encountered the loop uh, that should exit iteration they exit and they print it and they exit now we can control the number of threads using parallel uh, options class so that would give us how many threads I want to run at a time let's say three threads I want it, want to run and now we, we see we'll see what happens now let me run now you see uh, zero so only three threads ran and at it was a zeroth thread when break is called and when it entered the loop entered at seventh index and as soon as it entered the seventh index it showed it and it stopped the loop now we'll see the significance of break like like what let me put two so at least zero one index should run that is all about break the difference between break and stop so let so okay see so it broke at third iteration but it made sure 0 1 and 2 ran so that is what broke break so 6 0 3 started together at third uh, index it broke but it the loop made sure as we call break 0 1 to runs this is the difference between break and stop now i will run call stop and we'll see what happens now let me stop okay let me run it you see what happened so third iteration it broke zero six they started together at third index it broke uh, we called stopped at that point of view, one and seventh index was uh, running so they exited but second index didn't run so that is the difference between stop and break here the seventh index this is second index ran 0 1 2 ran here it didn't happen so that is like uh, the difference between stop and break now 
also you see we didn't get value here the reason because we had, when we are calling break method we'll get the iteration number but in case of stop we'll not get that now what if we throw an exception that, that simulates like uh, throwing an unhandled exception so, so yeah what will happen to other uh, iterations okay now we will mark this one more yeah so i want to lock this one this exception okay let's see let me run this so let us go on top so you see a third uh, third index that exception happened and then when exception happened then seventh index was running so it caught it and it immediately exited from there is exceptional it came to know about it that it is true you see none of the sorry none of the index has ran after that so in case of uh, throw if unhandled exception happens no other indexes will run a loop iteration the loop will stop so that was about uh, a parallel loop state object in a nutshell Thank you for watching this.